My name is Jeka and I'm in Cambodia. It is very hot and I already tired. Now I take in this bag I found earlier. I take another one, which I also found closer to my heart. And I will fill them with the dried leaves to put on the floor of my shelter. It will be more comfortable to sleep on these sacks of leaves. So I'm going to make myself a mattress now. I stuffed the sacks with leaves and I'll use it as a, some kind of pillow or put it under my back so it doesn't hurt so much to sleep. Technically, this is enough. I will fill another sack if feel that I need it. This is what my hut looks like from the inside. I found a styrofoam cooler. I think it fell out of a board. I can use it as a container to put things in it or cover my backpack at night. So that if it rains hard, my equipment will be safe. I think the shelter is great. It's enough for the night. If I were to stay here for a longer period, of course I would do something more solid, more durable and kind of waterproofs. But I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this, because I only have one day to show you the options of survival, getting food and water in these conditions. So let's do the next thing. And I'll try to get some food and see how the water desalination is going. Came to check my water. And I see that the process just started, because there was no sun. So here we have the first vapor coming up. Condensing on the plastic wrap here, draining down into the hole with the stone and finally dripping over to the second container on the inside. And in order to speed up the process a little bit, I will cover it with a black t-shirt. This will help to attract a little more light and heat. And so, now I'm packing up my spinning rod and then I'm going to go look for some bait on which I'm going to try catch my first fish. I got some bait. Damn, is Murphy's law. But of course I forgot my box with a small weight when I was flying to Asia. But I found a good solution. I had wire, which I used to make spoon baits for fishing wild trout. I just took wire, put float weights on it with pliers and made here this jig rig imitation. And I will replace this soft lure with some kind of edible bait, meat or small fish or crab meat or shell meat. Because with the edible bait I have much better chance to catch fish in this place now. Stage number 3. Find the bait and catch the fish. Ah, that was painful. But it is a success. The first catch. It bites so hard, bastard. I got over it somehow. 
my first source of protein for today. Yoohoo, crab! The first spray is here, so here is why I need that float. I'll attach a plastic bottle to it. And I put my prey here, so it's just gonna float next to me. And I'll put wherever I catch in here. So I will tell you a little bit about artifacts I found when I was diving. Basically, it is a lot of shells, quite large and meaty. It makes me very happy. Also here is one large crab. Now I'm going to break the shell and take out the meat, cut it into pieces and use it as a bait to catch the fish. If the shell meat proves to be a bad bait, then I will try crab meat. But crab meat should work for sure. I've used it a bunch of times, I just would prefer to keep and cook and eat it later. Great! I've got the bait to catch the first fish. It's noon and the sun is already at its peak. Which means its rays are most dangerous now. So I will hide from UV rays already. But even though I am dressed, the sun still burns the parts I can't cover. So I will stay in the sun for another couple of hours or so and after we'll hide somewhere in the shade. I'll take care of a campfire and other things. I can do that not in the sun. But for now it's very important to catch my first fish. While I was diving for shells, I found a couple of promising places where I can. Wow! How many crabs look! A couple of promising places where I can try to catch fish. And somewhere here, I saw it was quite deep. I think it was right here. Yeah, I think that would be a good place for try to catch my first fish. 
And now the most important things is to show all my angler skills and catch my first fish, my food. I lower the bait to the bottom, then turn the reel a little to rise it from the bottom and keep the line no tight. All at once I nibble and the bait is gone. So with this kind of success, I won't catch many fish. I don't even have time to see nibble before the fish takes the bait. I've got it! The first catch! The most important fish! It is a small one, but it is a victory! This 100 grams of protein, pure protein! My mood immediately brightens up, because I realize that everything is going according to my plan, and my skills are working. If the first fish is there, then there will be a second and thirst, and at the very worst case, I can cut it in two pieces and use it as a bait. Great, I'm very happy. It is getting very windy, but not big deal. So I need to cut shell meat into small pieces, because large chunks fish can take into the mouth. So the fish just knocks the bait down, and I don't want just waste it. Yoohoo! That's a shame, that's a shame. While I was getting the hook out of the coral, I picked up more of these cone-shaped shells. It has very meaty leg, but you can't see it right now, so at least I already have a snack. Here is such a little guy, I wouldn't take it to eat, but I will probably cut it up for meat and use it as a bait, because I'm running out of the shell meat. While the fish is still fresh, and there is plenty of time before I make a fire, and I need something to eat and I need to replenish my energy. I'll cut a piece of fresh fish and eat it raw. It's a good source of protein. I would mind a little soy sauce. But it is what it is.
when a person leads a healthy sporty lifestyle, when he or she trains regularly. His dietary regime is also in tune. Since I'm used to eating six times a day, being hungry until 1 pm is actually very difficult for me. So I have to ignore my moral principles and survive. So I see a cigarette pack. A little wet, but it doesn't matter. A little later I will show you what I'm planning to do with it. Hi friends, my name is Jeka and I am in Cambodia. This time I'm doing my best to survive on a completely uninhabited island. Small but nice. It is quite good specimen. A very beautiful fish. <laughs> wow! I don't know what kind of fish I caught. But look at its mouth, look at its teeth, it's just a monster, such a mini monster. And if you truly like this video, thumbs up. Bye bye everyone.